think we need to do another top five TikTok video. What do you think? Sure. Like, I think that these food trends that are on my For You page are taking over my life. Like, how many Dash things do we own? Too many. Okay. We are going to do top five food hacks from TikTok. Plus a bonus video. <gasps> oh, yeah, because I have my own hack. That bonus, I didn't learn. Bonus tip. That I didn't learn on the talk. Let's get into it. So I'm using like, I'm gonna say two tablespoons of cheese right here. I'm gonna put my pickles on it. Remember I patted them dry. And just a little smidge more cheese, get them to go. And then three minutes, three, that's it. Ooh, hot. This is what three minutes is gonna get you. And then you have to let it sit for a couple minutes so it, it is crunchy. And I'm gonna tell you, it really does taste delicious. I'm gonna have this with my chili tinning. Now this is what everybody talks about, the crunch. Let's see. Yeah. It's good. Okay, I ran out of shredded cheese. I don't feel like doing it. So I got out my uh, marble cheese slices from Costco. And I'm just putting them on. We're gonna see how this thing goes. Okay, so I'm at work. Taking a lunch and the next TikTok thing that I am going to show you is a bell pepper and egg salad boat. And I'm gonna put a little bit of everything bagel on it. Is this another hack, TikTok food hack? Okay, let's try. This is actually one of my favorite lunches and um, low carb. Not a very graceful eater. All I did was make egg salad, wash my pepper. Now I'm enjoying. You don't even need the everything bagel on it. It's good. It's so good. So for my next TikTok food hack, I am going to turn this tortilla into a pocket burrito. So my burrito hack is, well, they call it a tortilla hack. Basically what I did was I cut my tortilla like that. I'm just gonna add some toppings and uh, then we're gonna get this on to cook. So my first, I think I'll do some guac. Oh, we should have got sour cream out too. And some homemade salsa. And come on, who doesn't love queso? Let's put some beans on this bad boy. I'm gonna put some sour cream on this big boy. Put some meat next. I don't know who this one's for yet. I'm gonna put cheese with this block. This is actually gonna be really good. As I'm making it, this is the first time I've ever made this. All right, we're gonna fold the bad boy up. Oh my goodness, I think I stuffed it too full, but that's okay, that's okay. The next thing we have to do with this is we have to put it to fry. We're gonna fry it up. So my next TikTok food hack is a cheesy quesadilla in the toaster, praying it doesn't wreck my toaster. Just, that's all, that's all, that's all. 
let's stick some ketchup on that bad boy. And now some shredded cheese. We're gonna put it on there pretty liberally, flatten it around. Now we're gonna fold it. You wanna fold it so it fits in the toaster. So you need to make sure that it's gonna fit in the toaster. We're just gonna pop it in, toast it, and pray it doesn't ruin the toaster. It's done. I'm gonna just let it cool so the little guy will eat that, but I think I should toast it again. Let's try it one more time. Oh, it's super smoking hot. That's a fire! Woo! It's not really on fire. It is done now. Let's check this bad boy out. All right, I'm gonna cut this bad boy in half. I wanna see what it looks like. It looks good. And a try a bite. It's not horrible. I would eat this for lunch. I shouldn't have put the, the ketchup on it though. It's good. Oh no, Mel's downstairs and she's about to start messing with the craft dinner. There's two things we do in Canada. One is we never mess with the craft dinner. The other is say sorry at the end of every sentence. Sorry. All right, so TikTok says you put the butter in here and you melt it down. Then you're supposed to add the cheese now. And stir. I think TikTok may have lied. Now I'm gambling with our dinner. I let that smell. Ooh. Velvety. Let that cook a little bit. I'm gonna give it a bubble and then I'm gonna toss the pasta with it. Let's go over to the table. All right, I'm gonna add the pasta. And Tim can't see a darn thing. All right, giving it a stir. Looks okay. Actually, kind of looks nicer. Okay, well, give me some to try. He doesn't like hot things. You know what's amazing? This tastes just like craft dinner. <laughs> doesn't taste any better. No, it tastes the same. <laughs> uh, mm. That's no, it tastes the same. It's the same. Craft dinner is a very individual thing. Some people like their sauce thick, some people like their sauce thin. Well, however you make it, you make it the way you like it. This Do you like this way. craft dinner? This is craft dinner. Would you eat it that way if I made it for you? You did make it for me, so I'm gonna eat it this way. <laughs> ah, tick tock. Oh, the tick tock. Yeah. Bonus time. This is our version of the McGriddle that we like to think we coined in our house. We're using frozen pancakes. I'm gonna take some pan cooking spray. I'm gonna put it in my mini dash. And this is a griddle. I have two, usually I use two griddles. This takes a couple minutes. Now here's the trick. As your egg is finishing cooking in the dash, you're gonna push down on the toaster. Boom. Egg is done. I'm using shredded cheese. Use what you have. Measure with your heart. And then ham. That's it. Leave it for until your, your toaster pops. And then I'm going to come back and show you how to assemble it. Okay, toaster's popped. If I can open the damn syrup. We're going to syrup. This is for Tim. He's a syrup freak. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this beautiful Sambo. Egg, ham, and cheese and plate it. That is 
our version of the McRiddle. This is Melanie from Melanie and Home Life. I hope you like my bonus. What, what? TikTok made me do it. What, what? Did you click like, subscribe, and all the other jazz? Just do it. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Bye.